one of the things that we were talking about earlier was cyber attacks, yeah. cyber security. Sure. Um, when I think of that, I think of the big companies, and you know, but that's not true. No, actually, it's the opposite. Actually, right now, it's mid-sized, the smaller companies that are getting the big brunt of that. Uh, I saw an article in Inc. a couple of weeks ago that six out of ten companies have experienced some sort of uh, cyber encryption where basically somebody comes in and they do it through an email attachment or they do it through uh, uh, maybe a fake invoice or they pretend to be somebody they shouldn't be or somebody opens a coupon. Anyhow, one computer gets infected and that computer seems to have access to like your shared drive. Well, next thing you know, your shared drive is encrypted and now you start getting either a nasty email or when they encrypt it, they'll put a little text file in the directory and say, hey, contact us at this email address and we want X amount of Bitcoins. One example that I worked with was, I think it was seven Bitcoins, which is like, I don't know, $42,000. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and we involved the FBI, and uh, which you should do, uh, to, they're aware of what's going on in the West Michigan area. But I've had three of my customers have similar type of situations and FBI really advised, um, and this is again, personal choice with the company, not to pay the ransom because usually what will happen is they'll decrypt half your data and then they'll come back and say, oh, by the way, you know we can decrypt your data, but we want four more Bitcoins for that. You know, so they'll double, they'll double whammy you and depending on the amount of data that's out there, um, obviously you're only as good as your best backups. So make sure backups are happening um, and make sure they're happening frequently uh, so that you're, you're how can I say this, you don't get encrypted and you back up the encryption kind of a thing. Because so. that, that was going to lead me right down the, the path of how can we protect ourselves yeah. from this? And you said backing things up yeah. on an external device or in the cloud? Any or device you possibly can. <laughs> so that's the answer for that. Um, yes, obviously for a company, uh, we use a, a device called a Synology. We also do data backups as well, uh, where every hour on the hour, images are being taken of the, the servers, but really also on the desktop front, making sure end users nowadays are not storing critical documents on their desktops, because if the desktop gets infected, you probably don't have a backup of that in a work environment. So uh, making sure they're saving stuff to a shared drive location, kind of a, a key piece. So somebody like myself, that's yeah. a smaller office, you know, I, I, I run with, uh, I've got three computers in my office right now. Sure. They're all independent currently. Uh, my phone, tablet, what can somebody in my case do? Well, on the Windows side of things, uh, we use one here. Uh, it's called a network accessible storage. Basically, it's uh, just a device that has a bunch of hard drives in it and it can back up your computer, again, on the hour, on the day, mm -hmm. whatever kind of critical stuff's going on. Um, the one that we use is called Synology and they're really nice because they're also time machine capable. Um, if you had Macs, which I don't know if you're, you know you mix use Macs and PCs, mm -hmm. but on the Mac, Really all you do is get an external USB drive and Mac has time machine built into it. And every, however you said, I think the default's like every half hour, it's backing up a full image of your Mac. So if somebody steals your Mac, you damage it, it gets encrypted, whatever else, you can literally go back in time every half hour or just go buy a new Mac, hook up the time machine drive and it'll literally make that brand new Mac you just bought off the shelf, the Mac you were just using. Okay, exactly. so Windows, Mac, there, there are options. There, there's options on Yeah, Windows, there. Windows side, there's other great programs that are out there. Um, Synology, if you buy one of their network accessible storage devices, they have a couple different things there. They have uh, Synology Drive, which is basically a full backup of the computer that it keeps on the disk array I'm talking about. They also have kind of like a private Dropbox, um, where basically you can install an app in your phone or your tablet or wherever else. And, it synchronizes all of it. So instead of sending it to Dropbox, you're kind of running your own Dropbox. So we do a lot of those. We got maybe 20 businesses, small to mid-size, mm -hmm. uh, that use that. They use it mostly for their shared drive we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is, is part of our backup service, when they save a file to their shared drive, it instantly comes to our storage giant. We have a giant 75 terabyte array here that stores that stuff real time. So the second somebody saves a file, it's not only being backed up locally, it's also going off site. So if the building burns down, we've got a copy of the data. And we're right here, Byron Center, Michigan. So And and you service not just Byron Center, but you no. service Yeah, mostly Kent County. Uh, we're doing some stuff up in Traverse City right now, uh, Lakeshore, Kalamazoo, et cetera. I have a few so points. it's wide open. It is wide open, really. Yeah. It's just a matter of time and what really makes sense. Um, I really like for IT boots on ground, so we make a very easy um, appointment booking on our website, westmichiganit.com. Mm -hmm. Very simple site to remember. 
Uh, one of those is a boots on ground meeting where we come on site to you and get to see what, you know, kind of technology challenges you have. But that gets a little more difficult when you're doing remote stuff, but we do do some.